And we're going to speak next to another winner, Ben Oakry, one of Britain's most acclaimed novelists who won the Booker Prize exactly 30 years ago. Ben Oakry took the prize for The Famished Road, a novel drawing on Nigeria's Yoruba folklore tradition and narrated by a spirit child. Please welcome Ben Oakry. Ben, first of all, I can't believe it's been 30 years. I know, it seems to have gone past in a... A flash. A wonderful dream. And, well, speaking of dreams, you made a wonderful comment about The Famished Road. You once said the book was fed by the dreams of literature. How do you look back on winning the Booker Prize? I look back on it with great fondness, actually. Um, I remember the years before the length of time, the, the, the struggle, the, the, the effort to find a new voice, to tell a new kind of story. Um, and then you write this book and you wonder if anyone's going to read it or if they'll cut you away to the madhouse because you've done something very strange and used a kind of a, a strange form. And then this happens and it changes your life. Um, now, I have to say, journalists, of which I am one, are always looking to like, label the Booker Prize and how far it captures the zeitgeist of what's going on in the world each year. And as a writer, writing your own book, I wonder how you feel about that. Well, I think every writer... Um, I, I keep remembering something that Goethe said that, that haunts me. Um, you know, you take your fist, you thrust it into life, and what you pull out, that's your material. And I think every writer, worth their salt or their gold, that's what they're doing. Um, and there is, there's, there's, no, there's no other way to really write, given the nature of the times in which we find ourselves. We're in an age of great contention, an age of environmental disasters. So many big issues are pressing upon us, and I think the writer has to be bolder and dig deeper.